In this video, I'm going to show you how to move a card from one list to the top or the bottom of another, another list in the same board. So for instance, instead of me having to get this, this post that's already been written, I could normally drag that across and find my Happy done list, but that takes time and I might accidentally drop it on the way. And then I've got to go down to the bottom and it just takes up time. So I'm gonna go and put that back in my current Happy Here we go. I normally do that on the Wednesday. And I want whenever a, um, a post with this happy to purple happy activity label is clicked as completed, I want this to automatically scoot to the bottom of the happy activity list, which is here, because then that keeps it all in chronological order. So what I want to do when so when I click that as done, this is now automatically going to scoot across to the bottom of my happy activity posts done list okay you see it's showed up there without any of the dragging now i'm going to show you how to set up that rule so the way i put my board together i do use labels a lot i find it really easy to stay on top of my stuff um, so i've already set that rule up but i'm going to show you how to set up a new rule so for instance and it only works when um, your date is is clicked as complete so for instance, boot camp. Okay, let's do one for the boot camp. So what you're gonna do is any any normally a Tuesday is a boot camp related post as far as my social media schedule goes. So what I want to happen is when I have completed this, I can check this off as done. Um, the rule hasn't been created yet, so this isn't gonna work. So you can see I can check that off and it stays in here. So now I'm gonna create the rule. So when I check that off, it will go to the bottom of my boot camp posts done list okay oops me and my bikini i didn't realize that was there um so what you're going to do you can either click here automation or go to show menu and automation okay click that now this brings this screen up and you are going to click a rule and with the rules you you can see i've, I've set up various rules here um, it you have to create a trigger and then an action so it look, if you've never done this before, it does look a little bit tricky, but just hang on in there. It's actually quite simple the more you use it. So I'm gonna just create rule, or I could actually, um, what I could do is copy a, like here I've got, not that post, I've got a rule that I created. I could copy a rule and just edit it basically, but I'm not gonna do that because I want to show you from scratch. So I'm gonna create rule. So first of all, I've got to add my trigger. Now I want it when the date is connected. So you've got all these options. You can have when checklists are fulfilled. Um, I don't really bother with card content and fields, but dates and card moving is what I tend to use the most. So here I've got that choice. I've got this choice. I've got that choice, that choice or that choice. So what I'm going to do is um, when a card is, oh, sorry, that's moving. I'm going to click here because I want the dates category. It's really good that I'm showing you with a very brain dead brain because it's kind of foolproof. So when a due date, or you could have a start date, when a due date is, oh, I don't want that one, is when the due date, you want this one, you don't want this option, you want this one. When the due date is marked as complete in a card, I'm not gonna bother with the list name because I might also do a boot camp post on a Saturday, for instance. So if I put the list name, it's just gonna restrict cards moving from that particular list, okay? So I am going to instead go with the sky blue, not sky blue, the boot camp, the blue boot camp label, okay? So with the blue boot camp label, when I click it as date due, it, I don't need to have assigned to me, I don't need it to be inactive for more than one day. That, that's not relevant to me at the moment. So I'm just going to use this. So when a due date with the blue bootcamp label, I'm going to add that as my trigger, is marked as complete. I'm going to add that. What I could do is choose the board here too. So if you wanted to add more information to it, 
and assign people to it. In fact, I can't actually add another person to it. Uh, but if, if somebody else was assigned to it, if you've got like a team running on this, you could assign for you or anyone or a specific member. OK, but I don't bother with that because I just keep mine private at the moment. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the blue boot camp label, I'm going to click that as my trigger. Come on. So this is my trigger. OK. Now, my action, what do I want to have happen when my trigger is performed? So I want to move, so it's already defaulted to move. I want to move the card to the bottom of the list name. So my list is bootcamp posts done. I could choose the board. Here is where I could change the board. So if I wanted to have use a different board, so if I had bootcamp posts done on another board, which is actually what I used to do, um, I could change it here I could choose that board here okay and it might be that when you choose that board your list name will be different this is the boot camp posts done is the list name that I want that particular card to go to the bottom of so boot camp posts done I've already created that list so I'm now going to click here oops I can just cross that off I'm going to click here so the trigger, when the due date is marked as complete in the card with the blue bootcamp label, I it moves the card to the bottom of the list, bootcamp posts done. That's it. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to show you how it works. OK, so we're just going to come out of there. So now let me just come out of the menu as well. So if I click so here, why we need to strength train, I'm going to unclick it and then re-click it. And now this is going to scoot down to the bottom of the boot camp list posts done. Why we, oops, sorry, ah, why we need to strength train. I didn't really, and, and I actually like to keep mine in chronological order. So I'm gonna pop it up there. To get that photo off, if I, if I wanna take the cover off, you click into the post and you hear, you just say remove cover. It keeps the photo in there because I often, if I'm doing um, a photographic post, I keep my photo in here so that when I'm ready to post my post, it's got it there, but I don't actually want it showing up on my list because it's a bit embarrassing if I'm doing a training like I am doing now. Um, but anyway, uh, it's about celebrating our body. So I'm not going to be shy. You can see here, this has got an eye here and my name here. I've probably been playing around with this and I've assigned it to myself. And I can take myself off it by here. Oh, here you go. Sorry. I can take myself off it by there. Remove from card. OK, but that is also how you assign members. So if you wanted to assign somebody specific, if you have a VA or a virtual assistant that helps you with your posts, this is when you would add your VA to your board by email. And then you could assign specific activities or tasks to your uh, virtual assistant or your team in actual fact. So I'm going to go back and just show you one more boot camp post done. Uh, have I got any more boot camp posts kicking around? I'm just going to show you. I'm going to take this out from my Tuesday transformation list. I'm just going to dump it into my Wednesday happy list. And you'll see this is why I wanted I didn't want to do. I just didn't want to do labels in this particular list because I might have a boot camp post in another list. All of these things here are called lists. So when I click this as done, so I unclick it and then re-click it, I work out for my mental health. That is now going to scoot down to the bottom of the boot camp posts done. There we are, work out for my mental health. I'm just going to move that up there so it's in chronological order. And so I can now go through my card, my list rather, my, my board. I can go through my board and make sure that all these cards that have got uh, due dates on them, I can click them and they will go to the relevant posts. I'm going to I'm going to repeat what I did on the previous rule. I'm going to make a new rule. So if you if you sort of get it just stop watching now. If you're a little bit unsure, I'm going to just do the same again. So for instance, business, okay? You can see I've got a post here that's related to business and I've also got a list here that says business posts done. So now I'm going to create a rule to make any so, so when I check it as done it's going to move from there to the bottom of the list called business posts done. So we're going to, we could either go to automation or we're going to go to show menu 
into automation and we're now going to create a new rule. We could copy and edit the rule we just created, but again, I'm going to show you from scratch. So create the rule. So now, first of all, we've got to add the trigger and it's going to be date related. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the red business label. OK, so we're going to click the plus sign because that is our trigger that we want to use. OK, so when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the red business label. Click that. That is now our trigger. So now we want to set our action. We are going to move the card. Maybe we're going to use this one, move the card to the bottom of the list. And the list name is, uh, where are they? Business posts done. That is our action. So we can click here, the plus sign. So our trigger, when the due date is marked as completing a card with the red business label, we move it, the card to the bottom of the list of business posts done. So we save that. And we can now come out of there. Just shut the menu down. So I will now check that as though it's not been checked off. And you'll see that this, trust your gut, will move down to the bottom of the business posts list. So down there. And now, trust your gut, it's down there. I'll just show you one more. Business here to have a job which helps you thrive, August the 14th. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to recheck it so the date, the trigger will now be activated. And you can see that will also have gone to the bottom to have a job which helps you thrive. So now I can whiz through and I can just click all of these. OK, <laughs> some of them have got double labels. OK, let's see what happens. It should go down to the bottom of business. But if it doesn't, this is this is quite good because it will it'll I can show you what ah, it has good what we need to do with double labels. I think the easiest thing is to just keep it um keep it with one la label i sort of I, it's one of those things i prune it and i change it as i go along um as i as i use trello for for these sorts of things more often i've seen that 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 now would create like conflict um have i actually got a list called lifestyle posts done i have so what i could do if i wanted to put it in my lifestyle list as well you can see here lifestyle done what i could do is Go in, just click into this post and I can copy, copy, keep the labels, keep the comments because it's got my social media post in it. Instead of putting it to in the list for business posts done, which it will stay there because I'm not moving it out of it. I'm just copying it to another list. I'm also going to copy it to lifestyle done. Position five, that's the, the bottom of that list. Create card. And so now when I click out of that, you will see that that is also there. So I can just check that as being done. <laughs> that real, that rule, this is why this is so good. That rule has now swiped it across to, it's, it's, it's basically put it here twice. So what I would need to do there is to just get rid of the business label. So I, what I'm doing here, I will just show you, I'm clicking on my card and I can go to labels here and I'm just gonna uncheck that label which I, I created when I set this board up. So now this is this is quite useful. It's kind of brainstorming problems as they occur. Now I'm going to actually move that because I don't want that in this business post because this is also going to be a reflection of a lifestyle post. So instead of copying it, which I just did with the business label, I'm going to move it to lifestyle done. Move. And now that will stay there. So if I was going to be really tidy, what I would do is I'd get I'd click this post and get rid of the lifestyle label. So it's just got the business post there. And if I really wanted to keep it in my lifestyle uh, list as well, you can see it's there moving to Scotland or Regran. OK, so that's how you would overcome that issue. So here I've got inspo and remember quotes. I'm probably actually just going to get rid of the inspo label. So again, I'll just show you how you get rid of the label. I'm going to click that and labels and I'm just going to check that and that takes that off 
I could check it again and it goes back on, check it off, okay? Um, this is something I've covered in a previous tutorial, but if I click on these labels, you'll see all of a sudden they lose their, their words, the text on them. Just click back on them and the text will reappear. All right. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, it's been quite helpful for me to brainstorm it with you. Um, and if you want any future Trello uh, tutorials, have a look at this, the playlist. And I've got quite a few on there. So I, I hope I hope you'll find it as helpful as I do. Seriously, I schedule my entire life on Trello these days. Um, my boards, just as a quickie. Um, hang on, let me show you. I've got... Let me show you my workspace boards. I have, oh, it's just done at my, it's just showing my re recent ones at the moment. Here we go. I have, so I have my social media content one. I have a business brain dump, which is literally, oh, I'm in this group. I must make a note of it. Or, oh, that was a really good tutorial. I'll make a note of it. Um, this is a training board for my team. This is my meal planning and prep board. This is my own personal uh, business system flow that I use on a daily basis. This is my house hunt board. I've got a newsletter board so I can stay on top of all the freebies that I share with my newsletters and contents that I'm not replicating the same old stuff. Um, and then I have a business calendar uh, board that has sort of, you know, weekly, monthly, yearly goals, uh, as well as some business related stuff in there. So, uh, but you're allowed up to 10 with a free account. And um, it it is just the most fantastic app to use. So embrace it. Uh, if you're a visual learner, I think it's the sort of thing that you would love to use. So uh, give it a shot. But yeah, I've got quite a few trainings in my Trello series. Also how to set up a board from scratch. So take a look at that if you're looking for some inspiration.